Hi, I'm Tom. And I'm Gary. And this is The Truth in Black and White. Because you know, just by their attitudes and what they say, if you disagree with them, they don't like that. Sean Hannity does not want to be disagreed with because he is right in his own mind. It's not that we are right. We're saying, what does, what does God say? What does God Almighty say? The one that created us. My, my question always is, did you, did you create you? There, there's, no, there's no other way to look at this, but look, God is real. He's looking for somebody that's real. He, he, the, the one thing that Jesus hated more than anything is a hypocrite. He talks about hypocrites and wailing and gnashing of teeth is where the hypocrite's lot is. And these people are hypocrites. They're play actors. And this whole thing is like a stage. It's like a bad movie. And it really is. And the thing is, uh, people would, all, would then ask, well, what do we do? I mean, who do you vote for? My thing is, the jig is up. Mm -hmm. McCain and Palin... Nah, that's just pandering and the women going into realms of authority they shouldn't be in. And you see McCain as he rubs his middle index finger all the sign all the time showing his nervousness. You notice him on stage. He'll always begin to rub his middle finger knowing he's doing something he has no business with that maverick call sign of a, a Navy aviator. But yet he knows he's out of kilter with what he should be doing. He knows he shouldn't have a wingman right. that's a woman. Another giveaway is all the winking that you see him doing. Yeah, and the, the Bible doesn't doesn't speak favorably of somebody that winks all the time. Because they're, trying, not. they're trying to they're, he's trying to hide something. And see, what I'm saying is, with all this going on, you say, well, who do I vote for, McCain or Palin, Barack Obama or Biden? My thing is, the whole deal is over. Right. There is no one to vote for. The two party system is a sham. Right. It's just, it's just make believe. These guys go and 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 turn up one after they're through with this political stuff, and they play golf together. It's a sham. They're all millionaires playing the public. What we have to do is turn to Jesus Christ as Lord of all creation, and go about saving people from this this wicked and perverted generation, and prepare people to meet their Maker. The only hope for the planet, as far as peace is concerned, is the return of the Prince of Peace. Right. That's it. We're not trying to get anybody to change or go march or, vote waste or anything like waste that. Waste of time. And anybody should be able to see that, that, that these, these, these political parties, where they once had a difference, they're all becoming, you know, bipartisan is a big code word they use now. They're, they're, they're coming together. They're merging themselves together because they are basically becoming, a, they're disempowering America so they can build a, a one world government. That's that's where this is going now. Don't start thinking that you know we're talking conspiracy theories and all that, because what's going on down on this planet is evil that we don't even we don't realize how evil it is. And everybody knows, just even based on on, on the American tax system, that that's evil. That that's not righteous. We're not free. How can we be free when when they've been making us pay Social Security all these years? Our parents paid Social Security all these years. And we don't, we're not going to get a dime of that. And nobody has as far as, you know, <laughs> both awesome. of our fathers That's died so without before. My dad died when he was 62. He didn't get to the point where he was, he was cashing in on that stuff. So why, so why can't give, I inherit give, 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 me, give me my daddy's uh, money. Really? Why don't you get your daddy's money? What happened to my daddy's money? It just evaporates into nothingness. We've been Shanghai. We've been bamboozled. <laughs> we've been, we've been, what did, uh, hoodwinked. Hoodwinked. <laughs> yeah, that's what Malcolm X said. We've been hoodwinked. Come on. This, this here, and, it, and it's all being planned this way. Because what they're doing now is they're bringing America down. Because America has had two things, money and guns. Yeah. And, and, and we've, they've been able to, you know, shield the people with that. Which is probably God's mercy to a degree. Because I think America was used... For for the purposes of people being able to have enough freedom, at least to to, to, to teach the gospel and to, to 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 read the Bible and even pray in school. But you see where that started coming out of the picture in the in the early 60s, and from that point on, that's where we always talk about. You know, when you look at the the the, the 50s, where you had Andy Mayberry, um, Father Knows Best. That was kind of a reflection mm -hmm. of... Donald Reed, Leave the Beaver. Right, some that. moral character, some moral values, which they still talk about that, but how can you be talking about moral values when you've got all this filth in the entertainment industry and just being spewed out, and it's been degraded ever since then? Yeah, the way these young girls become stars, they make uh, sex videos, porno videos, Paris Hilton, 
uh, Britney Spears showing her female parts to the public. Uh, Beyonce shaking and vibrating on these videos like a uh, like a stripper. Uh, the Lindsay Lohan running around and drunk and with lesbians. And, I mean, all these people are making names for themselves through perversion. Uh, mm -hmm. Kim Kardashian on, on, on sex videos and now she's a star in the limelight. They're contaminating the very thinking of the young girls coming along who are now teenagers and entering into that realm of uh, puberty when they're beginning to mature. And they're just feeding them all this perversion. So they'll grow up basically animalized and, uh, and end up in a wacko house. But right now what we have to ha have happen is somebody's got to make a stand and come out of this mess and just stand apart from it and tell the truth. Well, we, what we're talking about is basically what you hear a lot of today with this political environment. We're talking about a grassroots uprising. It's not a revolution to try to actually forcefully do anything or make a, a forceful stand against something, but it's just to stand for Jesus Christ, to stand for righteousness, to say, look, no matter what they do, they can kill me. But, but I'm not in it. I'm not in it. Yeah. And, and, and the Lord is, is the one that, that has the final say. And what, what we all need to do is get right with Him so that we can stand before Him at the, at the time of your death because every single one of us is going to the same place and that's to a grave and we're going to have to face Him. No matter what you believe, if you're a Hindu, if you're a Muslim, if you're a Roman Catholic, Hare Krishna, Jehovah's Witness, all that doctrinal stuff doesn't mean a thing. You got to stand before Jesus Christ, and He's going to judge you. The Bible says for the deeds done in your mortal body. You can theorize, you can argue, you can debate, you can do whatever you want to do, but you're going to stand before Him, and you're going to give an account for what you've done in your life. So, uh, th this is it, it's gotten silly now. The whole thing is just silly now. I mean, the whole to discuss it is almost uh, uh, irritating because it's so silly. The people actually going for this hyped up trash. The only thing the news media wants is ratings. They like to see clashes. They like to see a bunch of conflict going on right. between the de Democrats and Republicans to up the ratings. Right. It's all about showmanship. You know, they're paying these guys just to put on shows. Bill O'Reilly, a millionaire from putting on that foolishness every night and debating and arguing with people. I mean, uh, Sean Hannity, Alan, uh, Alan Combs, the same thing. Rush Limbaugh, multi, multi-millionaire from talking all day for three hours. That's so silly. Talking and I think a lot of what's going on is just laughing. They're basically just trying to laugh this stuff away. And you watch them in the final analysis. They're all just, it's just a, it's just like a joke. It's like a game. Laughing. It's a big and game. This, this, a, it, it's not even real. It's, it's. We, we talk about that in terms of, you know, we see all this stuff before us, we look at it, it's not real. Even though we see it and it's really happening in front of us, it's all make-believe. It's all basically a lie because yeah. the devil is, is, the, is, is the father it's the of lies. It, it, it looks, makes it look surreal. It looks like a Batman movie set, these people. They're not they're, they're animated cartoon characters. And what I'm saying is, like we're sitting here talking, we talk about this all the time. We don't want to be be here sitting in front of you just talking, because it's time to stop talking. Just talking, talking, talking. We're doing this uh, uh, on the leading edge of it just to bring you into a, a place of thinking again for yourself. Right. But we intend to go out and preach the gospel and lead people to Christ. That's the initiative. That's the motivation. We're sitting in, in behind stained glass windows and theater style seating, listening to some guy talk for two or three hours every Sunday. No. And what has it got you? Nothing. What this is is going to be a hellstorm. That's what that's what the the gospel brings. Is it brings uh, what he says? We got to take the kingdom by violence. They, they, those guys got stoned. They got murdered. They got put in jail. They were rabble rousers. They turned the world upside down. The whole city. They'd go into a city, preach the gospel, wonders, signs and wonders would back up what they said because it's true, and nobody can deny those signs and wonders. Right. And, and it that's turned what, it that's up, what we're heading next. It turned it mm -hmm. on its ear, and it's got, to, and that's what the grassroots uprising is.